everybody, it's Amanda. I am literally trying my best to not lose my mind. It has been a very long week, and this is the holiday section. We need to stay away from this, Amanda. We're at the Dollar Tree, as you can see. I am dealing with a broken down stove. My oven had a malfunction. My bake element went out. It almost burnt my house down, and... <laughs> Now I'm waiting for the company to come out and fix it. They came out, did a little estimate of what needs to be done, but I am on the stretch. This is the last of the month and I am trying to stretch all of my dollars. I have been really trying hard not to spend any money eating out. So I'm here at the Dollar Tree looking at options. There's tons of options for Hispanic foods. The problem that I have in my current situation, by the way, these are a dollar. That's a great deal. Um, my situation is this. My husband is gluten-free, so we have to be very careful what we buy while we're here today because it cannot have any gluten in it. So we're going to check out the back of these ingredients. These are definitely gluten-free, which is interesting because it usually is in all sauces. If you do not know, it is what it is. This is probably fine. He would probably rather this, but we have a lot of Hispanic dishes throughout the month, and so I want to do something a little bit different. So we're just going to continue to look around, see what we can find. I am not the biggest fan of this particular Dollar Tree because, as you can see, there are a lot of holes and gaps. Um, however, if you do not have a stove and you're working with a microwave and maybe a little cooktop like I am, um, those pre-made, already sealed cooked items will work out great for you. I didn't know that they made these little Idaho potatoes smaller, but we're going to probably grab something potato-like because it's usually corn related or it is potatoes or it is rice that we usually eat just because those three things are safe. Things like this are definitely not going to be gluten-free and that's okay too. I don't use a lot of gravies. I am not a big fan of super salty things. I have tried this in the past. This stuff is disgusting. So we're gonna keep moving on. I am still seeing a lot of gaps and holes, not seeing a lot of dessert options. A part of me really wants to get some dessert since, you know, this is going to be a more than usual dinner. Um, they do have almond flour, which you saw there. Um, however, these look delicious. I've never had those before. I've thought about trying them, but I try not to cook anything outside of the realm of gluten-free just because I would like to not cross-contaminate. I know, I know, we could eat separately, right? But this is a meal that I want to make that's easy, fast, and works for everybody. Has anybody tried these? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious because I do want to try some southern dishes, but I've never used Dollar Tree stuff. As we get to the cold section, this stuff here, this is all $1.25. This is cheaper actually at Winco. I can still get that for 98 cents for four of them. That one's got two. I don't know about that. That, that looks weird. Um, I've never used this cream cheese. I've thought about using it to see if it turns out. And then they have some meat options. Not many meat options. However, you could fry these up in a pan and add them to potatoes, rice, um, and veggies. This cheese does not melt very well, but I have used it in the past for tacos. And then we go on to the other sections here where we see some cold items. This is a shocker to me because this is something I have never seen at my particular Dollar Tree. Um, bacon is not a usual in our diet I, either. It just, it is what it is. <laughs> um, then I thought these were shrimp for whatever reason. I know. I'm dreaming big, Amanda. Dreaming big. And then we're going on to the other section. 
I think I'm gonna try these. Has anybody tried these? I'm gonna try them tonight. I think it's a good idea. Let's snag them. They're only $1.25. I'm gonna grab two because I tend to eat more veggies than I do potatoes, rice, or corn related things. I am not the biggest fan of certain things. I am pretty picky. I'm going back down this aisle to scope it out to see what we can find. And I think I'm gonna grab, should I grab one or two? I think I'm just gonna grab one thing of potatoes because I'm not gonna eat as much as, as the guides do. So that's everything that I think I'm going to get. Um, I am also going back to try to find dessert. I think I'm gonna try to find dessert, but I don't know. I'm looking at this garlic bread thinking, can we cook this on a little stovetop thing that I got? I don't think so. It says grill, but I don't know. I don't wanna go grilling. It's getting cold and I don't wanna be outside. Then I look at these little appetizers and I think to myself, no, cause we have a microwave and we have an air fryer. I could put them in the air fryer, but it would be me and the little boy that we have, little piggy who would eat those. I would eat these. However, I've never tried that brand. And then they've got those little sandwiches. Not a fan of those little sandwiches. I guess some of these are okay. These little banquet meals and the little pizzas. This is definitely what I was thinking about. Ice cream. And then they have these way more expensive items here, the Dollar Tree. I almost kind of feel like they're turning into Dollar General, which is fine. I mean, this this is actually quite the selection for my little area. I did want to see if <laughs> by chance these are gluten-free, and I don't think so. I don't think so. We're not going to chance it. Nope, no fries tonight. I've never heard of this brand before, but willing to try it in the future and then they have shrimp those carrots were not shrimp this is shrimp so let's go ahead and try to finish this off because I think I need to get out of the store before I go to the holiday section and spend money I don't have on holiday stuff which I'm not going to do so we have three items I do have chicken at home um, I have chicken chicken or chicken because that's what's in our freezer and we are off to the checkout line and I will see you in the kitchen. All right, besties, we are back. I have the chicken that I pulled from the freezer. It's not quite ready yet, but we're going to use two breasts. They are $1.98 a pound. And then um, I've got all of my cooking stuff ready. We don't really need much for this this meal, I don't think. This is the twenty dollar, the nineteen ninety nine dollar, um, little cook plate that I got from Bymart in my area. Bymart's kind of like a janky Walmart. We have our two breasts. I went ahead and got those ready. They're still a little bit frozen, but we're gonna cut them up. We cut them up into little squares, and then I'm going to go ahead and add them to my pan. I'm gonna add some oil to this. I haven't turned it on yet because I'm still going to spice things up. I'm gonna add some garlic because, you know, I can't afford real garlic. So we got garlic here. This cost me $4.99 and it lasts for a really long time. And I actually have another one on my shelf as well. I bought two this last time because I figured, you know what, girl, you're gonna need it. So. Then I go ahead and add the other seasonings. I add paprika. I add black pepper, salt. Um, I did add some dill into this. Not everybody loves dill, but that's okay. We're going to just go ahead and cook this up and put the lid on and see if it doesn't smoke up my whole house. So now we are going to wait on doing the asparagus because... This is going to take literally probably a, a half of a minute to, to cook. Um, I do have a microwave, so I am going to go ahead and start on these potatoes. I'm going to put two cups of water into that, and I'm going to microwave it because I don't have any other way of cooking because this stove is down, right? And then we have the jar to, or the bowl. Why did I say jar? <laughs> the bowl to put it in, and then some of this butter is going to go into the potatoes. So I'm adding my instant potato mix. I do like the garlic ones the best. I do like the loaded potato ones. Um, Jordan wants to try
try the onion chive one, I think. It's the light green one. We're checking on our chicken. Everything's looking pretty good. And we're going to just make sure that this stays pretty juicy, but at the same time gets that little brown coating that you're seeing on there. And as I cook this, I realize that this, this little cook thing works really well for being only 20 bucks. And I think I'm going to keep it around. I add my little bit of butter. I kind of cut that in half. The other half is going to go on the asparagus. So we're going to add our really hot water. I'm doing a terrible job at pouring, as you can see. Not, not a professional pourer. And then I did go ahead and just mix it up with the butter. The butter melts as the mixture goes together because I did put the water in a little bit longer than usual so it stays warm while the other things cook. Back to the chicken. Everything is looking pretty tasty. We still have that nice brown coating but it is still very juicy. So I'm excited to plate this up and see how it tastes. Now, I am not the biggest fan of using a lot of salts. You do see my little jar in the corner there of sea salt. We use a lot of sea salt. I did not take any of the chicken juices off because I'm going to add that into our butter mixture here. And we are going to let this butter simmer. It looks beautiful. I think it looks beautiful. Got a little steamy there with the camera. I know. It's getting a little steamy up here, up in here with this butter. And then we're going to go ahead and turn down the heat a little bit because it's getting a little too hot. And then these, I'm not sure. I've never used these before. I assume they're thin. Are they thin? Yep, they're thin. That's okay. I like thinner asparagus. The chunkier ones are a little bit more bitter. So it depends on what you're using it for. If I get chunky... Uh, asparagus, I want to put it in soup and stuff like that. Get rid of some of that bitter taste. But this is going to literally take a half a minute. As you can see, they, they are pretty frozen and they're kind of falling apart. But honestly, you guys, once we try these, it won't be very bad. I, I don't think they're going to be bad at all. I have had frozen and canned asparagus. Canned asparagus is really mushy. So I don't think that this is going to be the case with this. I think it's going to be a little bit, a little bit better. So I went ahead and added some garlic. I did add salt and pepper, but I think that that's it because it already has the chicken juices. This is the final destination of this meal. We ended up getting four meals out of this. This ended up being less than a dollar Per plate. Um, I did add the applesauce and <laughs> the go-gurt onto my youngest child's plate because he uh, is kind of picky and he probably won't eat the asparagus, but we'll see how it goes. And then I also picked up two things of ice cream. This one is dairy-free, which Jordan can eat, and this one is for little Piggy and I to share, and they won't be eaten all in one meal. So, do what you can with what you got because it's all you have to work with. And I will see you guys in the next video.